the build series you probably forgot about. This is Dylan Builds a Scrambler out of a Royal Enfield Interceptor 650. And I am riding a Royal Enfield Interceptor. So uh, this is episode two and it has been a long time. Uh, I thought a lot about what I should say here uh, as far as why has it been so long? And I've narrowed it down to, of all the excuses, two excuses, two main excuses, and one is that we have been crazy busy. And by that I mean we, the shop. So, um, with my partner Nicole and my dad, um, we own a shop. We run a shop called Throttle Company, Vintage Motorcycles. We also do Royal Enfields. And we, our shop, this is our first year in business, and it has been way, way, way more successful than I thought in the first year. Obviously a good thing, I'm not complaining, but the cobbler's kids go shoeless, and the owner's motorcycle goes neglected. So I haven't done anything, I haven't had the time, I haven't had the chance, but we have had so much work um, as far as working on people's vintage bikes, and uh, it just hasn't been a thing I could get to. So, number two, is uh, I sold my bike like four times. The way that it's been is the pandemic, uh, things were not too hard to get to, as in motorcycles, tires, parts, that kind of thing. But then they became hard. So suddenly in there, India is hit pretty hard. These bikes are made in India. So they have been pretty hard to get. We would get one Baker Express. I'd put my name on it. This is like right after the video series where I was like, mine's coming in in a week. One came in in a couple weeks. It was a little bit longer than I expected, maybe a month. And then I put my name on it. And then of course, someone would come in and say, hey, Dylan, you know, you can just order another one. I'm here today. I want to buy it. I'm ready to buy it. And I did that. And I said, yes, okay. And that happened four times. One of the guys that I said, yeah, go ahead. You can have this one. I'll take the next one. And he brought it back. So we had 300 miles on this. He did some very minor modifications to it. You can kind of see the turn signals up there. He did a different headlight bracket. The headlight is yellow, the tail lights. Apparently didn't like the headlights and tail lights. He also did some stuff to the fenders. I'll get into that. I'll show you that kind of stuff. This guy and I had actually talked a lot about doing a scrambler before he bought the bike. The modifications that he made are straight in the direction that I was gonna go. So it actually wound up working out perfectly. And this all happened this week. So here's the bike. We I've ridden it once just to make sure it was okay and there weren't any weird problems with it before I made it mine. And then we did the 300 mile service. That's the first service to check the valves, change the oil. So that had just been done. You can see it has 360 miles. It had 348 when he brought it in. So basically um, a test, a service, and another test. Those are the only miles that have been on by me. This video is going to serve as the baseline. I'm gonna start doing a lot of performance stuff. I'm gonna put some knobby tires on it. If this is the first video, you should really watch the first episode where I planned it all out on the computer and I did a Photoshop rendering. I'm gonna stick to that mostly. I think that there's been a couple of bikes that have come out that I'm really excited about that maybe made some little bit of directional changes. And this is one of those bike projects. I don't think it'll ever be just done, done. I'll, it'll kind of be an ongoing thing. I don't mind using my own bike for R&D research and development for our stuff that we sell in the shop. This is the loop. So this is what I normally use as our test track. And you can see all the other motorcycles are on here that this is a perfect track for motorcycles. So you get kind of the, the baseline. There haven't been any performance modifications done to this as far as I can tell, except we did find a booster plug. It tricks the bike into thinking it's lean so it makes it more rich, basically. All modern motorcycles are tuned very, very lean, as lean as they can get away with. But we notice when we pull the plugs, which is part of the service, they were a little black. And normally when you pull the plugs on a 300 mile bike, they look perfect. They are brand new. They look like you, you can't even tell barely that they've been used. So we went hunting around and I saw this booster plug, but he hadn't made any other modifications. No exhaust and no intake, which we're gonna do. That's probably the first thing I'm gonna do. And here's the reason why that, that matters is you just added more fuel, but we're not able to flow more air. The air is still restricted by the stock intake and exhaust. That was why the plugs wind up looking black. He just added a little bit more fuel, but didn't use the other modifications to take advantage of it. So that's one of the first things I'm gonna do. I don't know if you've been paying attention, but SNS, they sponsor the race team for Royal Enfield. They make this thing called the qualifier. If you've seen the build train race, it's these uh, women that race, road race, 
and flat track race and they make these qualifier two into one exhausts. I have one and it's race only is what it says. I think it might be 849, maybe it's 850, but it's it's right around there, 850, $900. I'm excited to get that on this bike and that will really take advantage of things like the booster plug, but it will just flow more air. Uh, that's the first thing you really want to do when you when you talk about doing performance modifications to your bike. And then we'll do the K&N free flowing intake with the open mount. So the stock mount, I'll show you all that. If you don't know anything about these bikes, like if you're following along and you're like, I don't have a Royal Enfield Interceptor or I don't know anything about them. These are 650cc and they have a six speed transmission. They come with uh, Pirelli tires or lately they've been coming with seat tires, C-E-A-T. Uh, that's an Indian company because India is having problems importing things, so they make everything in the country now. They're fantastic motorcycles. The real, the real big points are 650cc parallel twin, 270 degree firing order, which is the same as like Triumph Bonneville or something. Most modern twins are like that. They're about six thousand dollars, and they come with a three-year warranty, which actually comes with roadside assistance, which is just ridiculous. Best warranty uh, in the industry. Royal Enfield has been a company since 1901. They were a British company. They started production in India in the 50s and then stopped their British production in the 1970s. So they've been producing in India ever since. They are by some measures the largest motorcycle company in the world. So there are other companies that make like ATVs and side-by-sides and other stuff. Royal Enfield focuses on mid-size motorcycles like 350 to 650 like this one. They really are trying to nail that mid-size market. They're gigantic in India. I mean, they are like the Harley Davidson or whatever of India. They're, they're just huge. These are fantastic motorcycles. So what happens is because the price is so low, these are a modder's dream. Somebody that wants to make changes, they want to buy kind of the base bike the way it comes and then just do whatever they want. And that's kind of why I wanted to do this video. Is these are the things that I would do. I have the unique opportunity to ride a lot of interceptors. People bring them in all the time and they have different modifications. They have these bar end mirrors or heated grips or a different exhaust, or there's an upgraded suspension you can get. And I can pick and choose the best things that I like from, from everybody's bike and put them on my own. So that is what this bike is gonna be. I'm a big fan of scramblers. I'm gonna go with a kind of a street scrambler. If you're familiar with Triumph calls, there's the street scrambler. And uh, that's what I'm gonna do with this bike. Let me show you the bike and we'll talk about what the guy has done to it so far. So he's got these side panels. That's one of the more obvious things you see that's different from stock. They're metal. And they're interesting. I think they, they do kind of fit the Scrambler theme. So they'll stay for now at least. Uh, I don't have any other plans. And I, and I do think I might use a Ron Rugged side cover that's like a leather, uh, like a little extra storage. And I might use that. That's the kind of thing that it will mount there and you'll never even see any of that. So it'll be, who cares what it is, if it's stock or not. These, I believe, are the Tech, T-E-C, bike part. Tail tidy, tail light kit or whatever. And he took off, there's a extra guard that goes here. So that's now gone. Stock exhaust, like I had said earlier, the side cover is the same on this side. You've got the headlight bracket here is a little bit different than the stock one. I guess you just like the look of it. Again, this is part of that tech bike parts kit. These, at this point in time, they came with the Gator stock, which is nice for me because I was going to put them on. It's like a two hour job to take them on. You have to take the forks all the way off. So it's nice that they're already on there. Deleted the little extra guard here on the fender. I have some stainless steel fenders that I plan to put on. Looks like he raised it up a little bit here too, which I'd never seen, never noticed till just now, but that'll be great because I have some knobby tires to add. I've got them all, all that stuff outlined in my episode one video, but I'm really glad he kept like the stock bars and grips and stuff. I know this guy had come in and talked about not, about changing that. I love the stock controls, so I'm not going to change any of that, but there it is. Sorry for the delay. I'm a big YouTube watcher myself, so I totally get it when somebody says, I'm going to do this, and then it goes on, and it's been a couple months, or even a, a week. I hate being caught up on something because you got to wait for the newest thing, so I really appreciate you bearing with me. I'm excited to get started on this. We're going to do episode three coming up quick. I'll probably just get started on it. That will be, I believe, intake and exhaust, so we'll free up that air, take advantage of that booster plug, and then we'll get onto the knobby tires and then make it look like a scrambler. So thanks for watching. I'll see everybody next time.